Ella. Come on. They'll be on high alert here.
Mistios, may I trade your time for wealth? You look wiser than the average mercenary. Perhaps you're nearly as wise as Athena herself. You speak plainly, Auntie. I speak the truth, Alexios. You know me? Don't pretend to be ignorant of your infamy, Alexios the Eagle Bearer. I have a series of tasks I thought someone of your reputation could handle. But if you feel you're not up to it... What kind of tasks? To begin, I have a test of judgment. Which god is more dangerous, Poseidon or Apollo? The answer lies in a nearby tomb. This is just a riddle. Riddles are telling and rewarding when I give them. Prove your worth to me by going to the graveyard near the Sanctuary of Athena and solving it. Fine. I'll figure out this riddle. Come on. Protect us from teeth that tear and beasts that bite. Sounds like a child's prayer. Here lies my brother, a brave man. He was chosen to confront the enemy threatening our village. But his ship sank, and sharks feasted on his flesh. What little parts were found, I sealed in this tomb. A model ship as an offering to Poseidon. Clearly someone feared death in the sea. Sharks are under the command of Poseidon, as are all creatures of the sea. Is he the more dangerous god? A golden plate marked with the sun. An offering dedicated to Apollo and his youthful strength. Here lies my father, a simple farmer. A lion tore him to pieces as he brought in his grain. May the gods grant him peace. Lions are a golden beast, with manes like the sun. Surely they are the favorite of Apollo. Does that make him the more dangerous god? You! I know who you are! Athena sent you to kill me! Why would you think that? I was to be tried for murder, but a great fire burned up the courts and all the records. I walked free. But lately I've heard Athena in my dreams saying I would meet justice. And here you are. An old woman hired me to come here. You weren't part of that contract. But lose your temper, and I might change my mind. I know what Athena told me. I'll face my death blade first. Hey! Adi! Ah! 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 I've seen all there is to see here. Now to answer that woman's riddle. Off we go now.
This area will be well defended. You spent enough time in the graveyard. What did you find? How did you know I actually went? I have my ways. Is there dirt on my sandals? Hey, look in my eye. It seems to me you're good at figuring people out. Perhaps. But I want to know which god you think is more dangerous. Poseidon or Apollo? Why are you so interested in knowing? Because I have two tasks that require the attention of Amistios. But I can trust the easier task to nearly anybody. I'm going to assign the more dangerous one to you, naturally. There was a farmer attacked by a lion while he harvested his crops. An attack by a golden beast under the shining sun. Surely that is the work of Apollo, making him the more dangerous god. Gold is a seductive danger in many ways. Yes, Apollo is a sensible choice. I'm glad you agree. You've wisely considered the subject. I approve. Take this. It's for your judgment. You ask for my judgment, but you seem to be judging me. Am I? Consider this. Lions don't usually eat farmers unprovoked. So you think something is pushing the lions to behave strangely? I'm sure you could find out what that is, and help the locals with their lion problem. You'll find them in Argolis, east of the Ipermnistra camp. I'll see what I can do. Get many mysterious around here. What's your business with us? I'm here to take care of your lion problem. How do you know about the curse of beasts? I visited the tomb of a farmer who fell victim to the curse of beasts. You have my sympathies. Thank you. It's comforting to know that strangers from afar will show us kindness. Tell me more about this curse. It's horrible. Lions have been attacking our village, slaughtering livestock and ruining food stores. And then, one of them killed my nephew. The lion ran away, a leg hanging from his jaw. It's nearly indescribable. Strange that they didn't eat the man whole right there. You have the cold reason of Athena to notice that. The lions are swimming all the way from Aegina Island to attack us. No one dares set out fishing nets anymore. I'll track down these beasts for you. Thank you. May the gods let you remove the curse on us. I think I need a bigger boat.
decent fire. But who is here to make this? Bloodstains from a recent kill. Footprints. Someone else is alive on this godforsaken island. Someone's living here. I should speak with them. What are you doing here? This island is dangerous. Dangerous for you, maybe. <laughs> My brothers will take care of me. Your brothers? You mean the lions? Yes. Once we hunted together. <clears throat> Now that I'm sick, they hunt and bring me meat. When my strength returns, I will rejoin them. I'm nearly well enough now. The lions are attacking the villagers across the water. Their leader sent me here. Do you understand what those beasts are doing? Lions do what they must. <laughs> Though I suppose if I was better, they wouldn't need to hunt for me. Some olive tree bark. Should make a good medicine. I'll find the medicine to help you. Once you're better, this lion curse should be lifted. Thank you. There's a big olive tree on the west side of this island. Some say Athena herself planted it. We should help with that man's illness. Here, may this cure your illness. Thank you. You can tell those villagers my brothers will end their hunt. Let's go. Off we go now. The lions were killing to serve their master. I helped him, and now he has called them off. What strangeness is that? A human was the source of our curse? Well, I'm pleased you dealt with him in any case. Here, have this. Thank you. Time to return to that strange woman and tell her what happened here. Lions won't trouble that village anymore. I had nearly no doubt you could do that. My question is, how did you judge best to solve their problem? I helped the man the lions were hunting for. He promised to lead them away, and I believed him. A compassionate response showing great faith in people. Why do you think this decision is right? I do what anyone can do. 
I consider the situation and make what I believe is the best decision at the time. If I'm right or wrong, only time will tell. Ah, yes. I believe I understand you better. What's to understand? Everything in this world is worth understanding. A reward for demonstrating your wisdom. Thank you. Is that all you want? Not if you wish to enrich yourself further. You have already faced an island full of lions. Would you discover the secrets of an island wreathed in fire and smoke? I'll see the truth of this island. Good. You're very nearly impressing me. Oh, really? I should be impressed. I would like to send you to an island of smoke and flame, but an associate of mine still has my key to the vault within. Without it, your trip would be in vain. Are they as strange as you? That's nearly amusing. My associate lives in the graveyard you visited for me earlier. He lives as a hermit. He'll have time to talk, even to you. I'll go reclaim your key. Athena's favorite bird, you know. I'm here for the key to the vault. Now what are you doing here? <laughs> That's nearly ridiculous. So you're telling me it's not here? I hid it somewhere safe. It's underwater in the Ariavigni shipwreck. That doesn't sound very safe. How could it not be safe, surrounded by so many defenders? Why do I never get the easy jobs? <laughs> come on, come on. Need to stay hidden. <laughs> Easy now. If I get overturned out here, I don't think I can swim back.
I found your key. Your associate certainly kept it well protected. He ought to have. I paid him well enough to do so. Where exactly are you getting your drachmi from? I have very few needs and spend only on what I find important. I'm very nearly thrifty. Now that I have the key, is there anything else I need to prepare to visit the Island of Fire? You tell me, Mistios. Do you feel prepared to explore the foundry of Ephestos? Wait, you're not going to ask me a strange question first? Perhaps I'll think of one later. I'm ready to explore that island. Very good. You are proving your worth. Am I now? I'm impressed. There is an island swathed with clouds of smoke where the earth blazes with fire. It's called the Foundry of Ephestos. A legendary helmet is kept there. Bring it here so I might study it. Seems like a dangerous journey for just a helmet. It's not nearly the only treasure there. You can keep anything else you find. All right. I'll go to the island and find the helmet. Gorgophony was an extraordinary woman born of Andromeda, daughter of the proud queen and king of Ethiopia, and Perseus, the Gorgon Slayer after whom she is named. It has long been tradition that women should marry but once, as virgins. If their husbands died before them, they were to live out their lives as widows, Gorophonie defied this tradition to become the greatest grandmother of Elas. It is said that a warrior woman of advanced age brought so much chaos to the people of Lake Tritonis that Perseus himself arrived to take her life. And some wise people say that was Gorophonie enjoying her last act of rebellion.
Gorgophony's first husband was Pirieres, king of Messene and Sparta. Their sons grew up to be bold princes and kings of Sparta themselves. But Gorgophony had a second husband, King Oivalos of Sparta, who would bring her even greater children and grandchildren. Helen of Troy, Castor and Polydeftes, Clitemistra, and many more were her descendants. This helmet seems common, but it's been carefully hidden. I should get it back to that woman. That burning island and trapped tomb, you could say they were nearly a challenge. Even for you. You exaggerate, Eagle Bearer. But did you find the helmet? Of course I did. But how could you have known about such a terrible place? And who are you to send me there? Who do you think I am, Alexios? Some say I show great wisdom. Others say I am wisdom herself. Tell me, who do you think I am? You sent me to a graveyard, where I met a desperate man who said Athena herself had sent me to kill him. But I suppose that could mean he only thought you were Athena. It's unwise to give too much credit to the rantings of a madman. Then you sent me to a village threatened by lions, with a strange wild man at the center of it all. Was that a divine test of wisdom, or just a coincidence? You sent yourself to the village. I only provided the opportunity. Finally, that strange hermit with the key. He was even under a statue of Athena's icon, the Owl. Did you set that all up as a joke, or is there truth in his beliefs? So many thoughts in that head of yours. It's nearly too much to contemplate. Make your decision, Alexios. It seems you want me to believe you're Athena. Mysterious riddles, a helmet of all things to find. It's clever, but obvious. If this is the case, it is I who should congratulate you on your cleverness. Here, show me the helmet. I hope this was worth it. You have great faith in humanity. I hope you see it for both its potential and its failings. I'll make an adjustment and... 
Yes, I think this will be best suited for you. Thank you. I hope you've gained some wisdom from this journey. Yes, I've learned that profit can come from the strangest sources. You have earned my respect, Alexios. <laughs>